let me drag Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill. You know, Cardi B is turning into Lauren Hill. And I know y'all are going to want to kill me for saying that. But it's just like, Lauren, you another one. You talented. But there's a lot of mystery and a lot of debate and controversy and smoke and mirrors behind the composition of the miseducation of Lauren Hill. If you do your research, there's a lot of lawsuits, people who claim that they didn't get paid and this and that. And it's just a lot. Like, and it's just like, Lauren, you know, you, you didn't, you didn't, that, that album isn't, isn't all you. That doesn't make it any less of a masterpiece. But I think Lauren Hill is highly overrated. Just like Friend Ocean. Like, people just be like, oh, they music, they music, they music. They music is, is good, but bitch you got one album that you didn't fully do all on your own like are you really that girl i uh, i don't think so lauren and another thing i'm gonna drag lauren for real lauren you know like fucking aniva said i don't know if you don't have the rights to your music but when you perform it perform it like the fuck we know it you be late you be waiting for the motherfucking moon to enter Gemini. You be scattered. You be just on some hood booger shit. You be on some unserious shit. Like, fuck you, Lauren. I'm not here for you. And let me really get into Lauren ass. Lauren, you... I can't really respect Lauren Hill because... You don't take your career serious at all. You sat up there and you had baby after baby after baby and you not even paying your taxes. Like, what the fuck are you on? Like, girl, if you were serious about your motherfucking music, you would be handling your business, yo. Like, what the fuck? Like, or you would at least have somebody hired who could help you with that. Like... Stop it, Lauren. You're not serious about no damn music. You just want to lay up and be a baby but fucking mama. You and all the other head rap wearing assholes who run around and be like, oh yeah, my crystals and my sage and my incense. Lauren Hill, Erica Badu, SZA and Summer Walker. SZA don't got kids, but I know the tea about SZA little hoe ass. Y'all be running around making it seem like y'all on y'all spiritual shit. Y'all be the biggest fucking hoes. Y'all be the main ones fucking somebody married, fucking somebody baby daddy. Running around with a whole bunch of kids by different niggas out of wedlock and not dropping consistent fucking hits. Or, and just pushing the image of being down bad. Like, this is my problem with the industry. It's like they just, they have to have people in place that push negative bullshit. Like, Erica Badu is talented. SZA is not, in my opinion. I think SZA is a good... I don't know I don't know what SZA writes. I don't know if she writes. I don't think she can sing. But I know Erica Badu is talented. And I feel like Lauryn Hill can sing. But it's just like, y'all push that baby mama, lay up, smoke weed, incense, sage, and crystals, and never get married, and just be baby mamas. Like, y'all just push the, the counterculture of hood culture. That whole tech nigga shit. And that's just what I'm tired of. Like, Lauren Hill ain't shit to me. I don't care because it's just like, who who else got a bunch of kids? Kiki Wyatt? I think Kiki Wyatt. Kiki Wyatt got a, like a million kids. And it's just like, Kiki Wyatt still singing. She's still doing what she need to be doing. Like, Kiki Wyatt still out here. Because Kiki, like, gives some type of a fuck. But Lauren, no. You just want to fucking sit on your ass, like, and not pay your taxes. You know, whine about the industry that you begged to be in. Like, I'm not fucking with Lauren Hill. And when you, and Lauren, don't, it don't even gotta be like that. Like, it don't even gotta be all of that whole shit. Girl, 
people still paying to see your bitch ass years after you drop that one fucking album and you can't even show up on time and perform and give them a good show and collect your money and go back home and write off your expenses and handle your tax business properly it's because you ain't shit it's because you're really not serious like some people don't want shit out of life you know, that's a line from the movie Belly. A lot of people just don't want shit. They're cool with being hood. They're cool with poverty. They're cool with being baby mamas and being baby daddies. They're cool with that hood shit. They're cool with it. They don't want caviar. They don't want a maid. They don't want to lead a hood. They just want to be hood like all their life so and and so they bring their hood ass practices where they go not fulfilling your not fulfilling your contract is hood and raggedy and pathetic not showing up to a show on time and giving a good show is bad business and people have every right to stop fucking with you so i'm not fucking with frank ocean and lauren hill they push very, very bad messages to the black community because, you know, they, they really, they really, part, I think a big part of their program in the industry, along with the Kanye West program, is just to push, like, the mental, I don't know, it pushes, like, the decay of black people's mental health. Like, if I don't know how else to say that, but I just feel like, you know, they're going to all cry. Oh, mental health, mental health. And I get it. Like, black people deserve to, for their mental health to be acknowledged. You know, not everything is, oh, black excellence, black excellence. Like, we don't have a, we don't have time to rest. We don't have time to cry. We don't have time to, you know, whatever, whatever. But um, I definitely feel like... We should promote professionalism in the black community. We don't need to promote toxic black excellence, but we need to promote professionalism and dignity. How about that? Dignity. Running around, having a bunch of kids out of wedlock, whether it's by one person or whether it's by eight people, is trash. It's not smart. Us not getting married is not is holding us back wealth wise, not showing up for work on time, letting your fans down, letting your coworkers down, letting your management, letting your team down is not good. That's a problem. You know, like those are issues that Lauren Hill and Frank Ocean push. You know, Frank Ocean was just pushing some big wild gay sex party in fucking New York. That's not, you know, sexual promiscuity from men and women. Because Lauren Hill promotes that too. Lauren Hill, you was fucking Wyclef John when he was married. I heard his wife told her bitch ass, if you don't stay away from my husband, I'm going to put a motherfucking root on your ass. So maybe the problem with Lauren Hill is the bitch got a black magic spell on her ass, something mean. I don't know. But, you know, you, you running around with the Marley, the Marley sibling or whatever the fuck she was fucking having all them kids. You fucking around with Wyclef John. You know, you not paying your taxes. You not showing up to work on time. You doing all of this weird spiritual shit like... You know, Frank Ocean, you too, promoting wild sex parties, not showing up, not delivering for your fans, not coming through, you know, letting down these white people who cutting you a check. Y'all are promoting nigga shit in the black community. I know you may think I'm like, where am I going with this? I'm just saying, like, Frank Ocean and Lauryn Hill, like, all these artists, they're not just here to make music. Like, when they become mainstream, they have to push an agenda too. And what I'm saying is, not only are these two artists that are not serious about their craft, they push the program of black mediocrity. And I don't like it because the moves that they make push and signal to black people that it's okay to be ratchet, unprofessional, and just sorry as fuck. So look get in the comments and let's talk because I know that this is going to be controversial and I'm not trolling. I'm really talking like for real. I'm not kidding. I'm sick of they shit. 
because that's raggedy as fuck to how to treat your fans. People can say what they want about Beyonce. If you book her, she's going to show up. She's going to give you a great fucking show. It has to be something crazy. I think they say Beyonce has only canceled like one show in her whole life. Beyonce going to show up and she's going to work. And Kanye pushing the program too because with that with that black mediocrity shit because that nigga had a whole you know I had tickets to see Kanye when he pulled that bullshit with at the Life of Pablo at the Life of Pablo tour. I was supposed to see him in Philly, and he had a whole breakdown, and the nigga had to go. He canceled, and I was like, here, I was like, here, this nigga go, like some shit Kanye would do, and I was like, yo, if I had if I had Jay Z tickets, if I had Beyonce tickets, if I had Travis Scott tickets, well, let me let me back up. I might fucking die if I got Travis Scott tickets, but you know what I'm saying? It's like there are two people I know I can count on: Beyonce and Jay Z. If I got tickets, they're gonna be there. Kanye, you don't know. Drake, you don't know. Lauren Hill, bitch, you got to go get a tarot reading and see where the moon going to be that night. Frank Ocean, you you have a better job finding a nigga hoeing out down to the pyramids. Like, I don't know. I'm tired. Like, we got to get it together. So let's talk about it. I'm going to hit y'all up in the next video. Bye.